On a quiet residential street in water-starved Los Angeles sits Nye Labs. We have a drought, so we call this zero escape. Uh, it's a Greek word for dry. It's the home of Bill Nye, the science guy. I don't want to brag too much, but it's probably a 20th of the water. And here, everything is a science project, from the composter to the solar panels to the vegetable garden. Everybody eats kale, and it's great. And it just grows like crazy. Do you want some? It's good. There's nothing better really? for you. Oh. And inside... This is a periodic table that we used on television. And the Smithsonian wants this. This great is guy. a historic thing I'm looking yeah, at. Yeah, well, here, I huh? mean, if you're a Science Guy show fan... <laughs> Bill Nye, the Science Guy. And there are many. The 1990s show, Bill Nye the Science Guy, made him a star. Wind all over the world is caused by heating and cooling of the Earth. All in the service of teaching kids science. Now that's a chemical reaction. We're going to run some electrons through it and make... The show ended in 1998. All right. I love you, man! <laughs> but 60-year-old Nye's work as a bow-tied science educator has not. If we were to find evidence of life on Mars, it would change the world. Only now, his focus is on adults. With, we don't agree on the facts. Well, the science, yeah, the, the researchers say yes, you... Not all the researchers, and again, hope. even though it's globally increasing... Data. I think no, not, not absolutely. I feel we have a real problem of anti-science right now. And if you have people uh, who are voters and taxpayers who don't believe in science, we're going to fall behind as a society. Hence his high-profile debate a while back defending the theory of evolution against attacks from creationists who believe the universe was created in six days. I believe it's the creationists that should be educating uh, the, the kids out there because we're teaching them the right way to think. Mr. Ham, how could there be billions of stars more distant than 6,000 years if the world's only 6,000 years old? But he is most passionate about the dangers of climate change, the subject of his latest book. Climate change is real. Let's keep in mind that there's something about which you should give a f Have you become politicized? Yeah, well, I, people look at me as a political figure. And is that sure. okay with you? Well, what's the alternative? I mean, if climate change is objectively an enormous problem. And if you think it's because I'm a progressive and you're a conservative, then that's you, you putting it on me. I really work to be open-minded, and genetically modified food is a classic example. Yes, he's done an about-face on these foods which he once opposed. And I was really impressed with how thorough agricultural testing is. It's really amazing. It's amazing. It changed my mind. You've kind of alienated some people who have been supporters and fans in the past. I'm doing my best here, people. I've looked at the data and I've changed my mind. What more do you need from me? That's science. So says the science guy. But it may surprise you to learn that he's actually William Sanford Nye, the mechanical engineer, a Cornell graduate rejected four times for the astronaut program. Nye joined Boeing in the 1980s, working on the 747. Then one day, he won a Steve Martin look-alike contest. My name is Bill. Am I moving too fast? My name is Bill. Which led to TV gigs doing his own brand of comedy. This looks like a job for... Speed Walker. And somehow it all led. So what is a wetland anyway? Well, to Bill Nye, the science guy. We got a major wetland here, okay? This is uh, I'm on a, a salt marsh and the tide flat. You see, I'm sort of sinking. Almost 30 years later, the science guy is no act. Technically, black holes are not vessels of pure energy. Nye's day job is CEO of the Planetary Society a space enthusiast organization 
set to launch the first ever solar-propelled spacecraft next year. But while Nye dreams of outer space, it's his own DNA that worries him. My family has an affliction called ataxia. <clears throat> my sister has it real bad. And what's the, what's the you symptom You walk of like it? you're drunk. And my oh. sister has a walker. That's how she goes everywhere. And it's not, apparently it's not a strength thing. It has to do with your balance, which comes from your cerebellum. But you don't have symptoms of this. You yeah, I do. Yeah, it's you just, do. it was two years ago I noticed it. So as, as somebody who sees things from a scientific point of view, is this a little bit scary for you? If you're not scared of this, I don't know what you're scared of. But one thing he thinks can stave it off is exercise, which is why you'll often find Bill Nye at this Elks Club swing dancing the night away. I have to say that the last place most people think Bill Nye the science guy would be is on a dance floor in an Elks Club. It's a blast. What do you love about it? Why, what brings you out here? The music. I like the music. And it's the joy of movement. You move your body, it feels great. And then you get to hold the woman, which is priceless. You're single. Do you have a significant other these days? Maybe. <laughs> I just wanted to ask you if you think, you know, the human species gets lonely. When yeah, single. oh gosh, no, so, so yes, I, I, uh, I've had a lot of girlfriends, and uh, looking back, it would have been better to have, get married and have kids, but I was doing this other thing. That's really nice, that's the Japanese silk, it has the... This other thing Bill Nye says is summed up in a single line he wrote for the staffers of his old show. And do you see the objective in 1993? Change the world. And after all these years, your motto is still... Change the world. Heck yes. If you don't think you can, then what are you doing here? Come on, people. Let's make the world better than we found it. <laughs>